hello and welcome back guys to this new tutorial of my channel in this tutorial we are going to uh, start new series of how to make a fps game in unity uh, as you can see we have this um, uh, fps controller model from the standard assist, pa uh, assist pack of unity uh, you can go uh, get it from the uh, assist store now i have this gun model from a site uh, called sketchfab i will also link this uh, both down in the description so just set up the gun something like this uh, after when you start set up your gun you got this uh, weird looking clipping edges going on uh, in your uh, mesh so to fix it go into the fps controller and uh, inside the uh, camera uh, clear the near pin and uh, write something like 0 0.01 uh, which will just solve out your problem then set up gun as you want uh, hmm. Uh, take your some time for setting up your gun. I will just set up gun in just a minutes. Take your time to set up the gun perfectly and uh, as you want it uh, to be showed inside your game. Uh, now if we hit play, as you can see, gun moves uh, out with the camera and everything goes very well. Uh, so um, this gun is not shooting actually. So we have to create new C sharp script. Uh, let's say it recasts shoot. Uh, don't uh, add a space between the scripts it will uh, show the weird result uh, after uh, when you uh, try to add it to the game object inside the unity so uh, open up the script in the visual studio uh, first of all we have uh, uh, we want some variables for our gun like public uh, float uh, damage uh, let's call it something like 20 and then public again uh, public float and again range sorry public float range uh, and let's call this uh, something like 200 or 150 f uh, and add the f after float amount then public camera and fps cam uh, if you want to know why are we uh, getting the preference of fps cam because we are drawing the uh, ray from, uh, from the center of the ca camera in the forward direction to the center of the camera frame so we want a reference for camera in our uh, script so then start a new update method in public uh, sorry public void um, call it update uh, now inside update we have a if statement uh, which should be input dot get button down uh, now uh, if we if, uh, we want to fire the gun we have the button called fire one which is uh, Mm, defaultly set by mouse uh, left click mouse button inside the unity uh, if we uh, input the fire one button we want to start the void uh, called shoot now uh, let's create new void public void uh, let's call it shoot and inside that void we have to uh, define the recast shoot Mm, so uh, inside this you can uh, we uh, want to uh, shoot uh, shoot from the center of the camera in the forward direction so um, to start the recast uh, add a recast hit uh, recast it and let's call it hit and then uh, close the uh, statement then physics dot recast in bracket uh, we want to draw from the fps cam with fs cam dot transform uh, from its position uh, sorry transform dot okay uh, transform dot position comma uh, fps cam dot transform dot in direction which forward direction uh, so mm, we have this forward direction in the center of the frame from the camera uh, so mm, heading back towards the uh, script we have to complete the hit statement which is out hit and if you want to add a range uh, let's uh, hit the comma uh, and we want uh, actually want to check uh, after uh, after every frame uh, is it hitting something or not so uh, include it uh, whole statement inside the if statement and uh, create some curly brackets and now um, inside this if statement we just have uh, um, we want to see the recast is working or not we will just have debug uh, debug statement debug dot log in bracket hit uh, which will hit to the transform which is hit dot transform dot its name 
uh, its name will be pop up in the debug of our uh, uh, unity uh, okay this is something mm. no I don't know what the hell is this weird error uh, okay uh, sorry I got I would forward to add a bracket after some uh, after the sentence uh, so uh, now when we uh, we had the Reka shoot script or uh, to the m4 gun then add the FPS camera inside the uh, script then when we hit play uh, just first uh, open the console and when we click uh, we got the uh, terrain name because we are hitting the terrain and when we uh, hit from the top it's not happening anything there uh, so um, our Reka shoot uh, script is working uh, uh, properly <coughs> sorry sorry guys uh, so now uh, um, we have this Reka shoot script uh, uh, then we want to uh, really uh, kill some enemy or something else with this uh, Reka shoot or uh, our weapon. Let's uh, create new cube and call it enemy. Then create new C sharp script called uh, something called enemy damage or anything uh, that you want to call the script. Just create the script and open it inside the Visual Studio. Uh, okay. Uh, let's get rid of the this both uh, void start and void update. Then create create the public float uh, called health variable let's call it something around 100 100 health we have the damage of our gun set to be the 20 so uh, 100 dam uh, uh, health of 100 should be a good amount then uh, go back down and create a public void uh, let's call it uh, take damage uh, in bracket we have float and amount uh, which should be amount of the health which is deducted uh, now we have to health minus is equal to amount of health uh, create the, uh, complete the statement and then if uh, the health becomes zero we have to kill the enemy so uh, when health is less than equal to zero health which is health or variable which is less than equal to zero we have to start uh, start a void called die uh, then create new void inside a public void or any void void die Mm, and uh, inside this void we have to destroy the game object so destroy in bracket game object uh, okay this should be work properly now we uh, got to reference uh, of this enemy script inside our Reka shoot script for this uh, we have uh, enemy damage script mm, we have hit dot uh, transform sorry it dot transform and dot get component which is a uh, enemy component uh, inside the uh, enemy damage component inside the enemy uh, so uh, let's call uh, let's say it enemy damage call this enemy and equal to this full statement uh, now um, beneath this uh, if uh, we hit uh, if we hit uh, enemy the hit an enemy is not equal to null means if we hit enemy actually this statement called as if we hit the enemy mm, then uh, you have to uh, enemy dot take damage in bracket uh, we have this amount float amount which is we have here a function called damage uh, we, uh, where we set up the damage of our uh, weapon uh, then when after every shot fired on the enemy the amount of 20 uh, da damage will be reduced from the health of the enemy so now uh, when we uh, have this health of 100 and damage of 20 when we hit play and uh, aim towards the box and click 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 the box is uh, deleted uh, means destroyed means our script is working properly we have this enemy script and we have the Rekha shoot script uh, so now it's just working in the single shot fire mm, it will just fire as fast as uh, you can click your mouse so we want to fire it uh, uh, something like uh, 
uh, like AR gun. So we have to define new float amount which is fire red. Uh, let's call it something like uh, 10. And now uh, ha we have to pub uh, another public float which is next time to fire. Uh, we have to fire just after one shot. So next time to, uh, let's call the next time to uh, fire to be 0. Uh, 0 F. Or let's uh, remain it 0. Uh, now we have to hold the button so uh, inside if statement we have to get button so uh, inside if statement and end time dot time uh, is should be greater than equal to next time to fire uh, okay le uh, sorry less than equal to next time to fire mm -hmm. and we should not have the space between the is equal to and less than equal to sign okay sorry uh, now uh, next time to fire is equal to time dot time um, which is uh, sorry uh, time dot time um, plus one f minus fire red uh, which will be uh, something amount of uh, next time to fire is zero and one f minus fire uh, by fire it should be uh, something amount of uh, little second when we uh, now when we hit play uh, the rick okay there's problem with our rick uh, shoot uh, so i don't know what is wrong with our script mm this is say next time to fire is equal to time dot time uh, i think it's good i don't think there should be something uh okay this should be i guess greater now when we hit play and when we hit the button uh the object is going to be destroyed so uh, i just hit uh, click for uh, click and hold the hold the click and it's continuously fire Mm, so now uh, when we clear all the statements and uh, open up the visual studio uh, we want some impact effect uh, to see where it uh, uh, we have hit something so we have to uh, stop uh, we have a model of a flare which I want to use as an impact effect which is default model inside the standard assist of the uh, unity standard assist you can get it uh, inside the assist store for free uh, i will link uh, it down inside the description now create num uh, new public particle system uh, particle system and let's call it impact effect mm, yeah or uh, hit effect anything you want to call it uh, now uh, complete the statement and uh, inside the shoot statement we have to instant uh, initiate the uh hit effect so uh we have to uh, game object uh, let's call it impact game object Im or hit game object is equal to uh, we have to instant in instantiate uh the particle system which is uh, uh hit effect uh comma and uh, hit uh, at the point of hit point and in the direction of sorry mm, dot transform dot look rotation mm, nope 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 uh, this should not work uh, we have to start quaternion dot look rotation uh, in bracket hit dot normal uh, now uh, complete the bracket into the bracket now uh, everyone thinks the flare is a particle system we should uh, instance uh, instantiate the uh, particle system and uh, we have just called this uh, particle system uh, so we want to destroy this uh, something and the particle system could not be destroyed so uh, it should be uh, the it should be marked as a game object or anything else we can uh, we can spawn any kind of game object or particle system at the hit point of the uh, moment. Uh, so um, as you can see uh, here in my another script, uh, we have this uh, same statement uh, statement which is uh, what we can say uh, 
uh, same statement as going on but it does not have any kind of uh, any kind of uh, error inside the script because I have called this uh, particle system not particle system it is uh, I have called it uh, as a game object so as you can see um, uh, go this hit effect select this hit effect and uh, clear the particle system and call it game object uh, so now the error is solved and let's save the script and uh, script and move inside the unity now uh, select the um, m4 our gun and then uh, inside uh, inside down uh, search flare and add the flare inside the um, whatever you can say then uh, now when we uh, start to shoot uh, it will just add the impact effect at the point of impact where our gun is shooting so i guess this is pretty much good for this video uh, we will uh, uh, further discuss uh, more on the next video so if you like this video hit uh, make sure